Hi, I'm professional photographer and Nikon ambassador Lucas Gilman. On August 21st, we'll experience one of nature's most stunning events, the first total solar eclipse visible in the U.S. in nearly 40 years. This is going to be an amazing photography opportunity, and I'm here to tell you about the camera gear you'll need to make the perfect photo of this once-in-a-lifetime event. If you are lucky enough to be in the path of totality, you'll experience a total solar eclipse. But if you aren't in the path of totality, that's all right too. You still have a chance to make some amazing pictures. The most important thing to stress when photographing a solar eclipse is safety. Please don't ever look directly in the sun without proper eye protection. You will damage your eyes. As most neutral density filters and standard sunglasses won't cut it. Also, don't look at the sun through your camera without a solar filter. You can hurt your eyes, but you can also damage your sensor. Now that we've covered safety, let's talk about camera and lens choices. I want the best image possible, so I'm using a DSLR, specifically my Nikon D500. A DX format DSLR provides a boost to telephoto lenses and also has a very angle LCD, making working on a tripod much easier. You can use nearly any DSLR, including full frame DSLRs, such as the D750. When choosing a lens, consider what kind of photo you want to take. If you want to capture a close-up shot of the sun, you'll need a long lens, between 500 and 1500 millimeters. I'm using a Nikkor 200 to 500 millimeter lens along with a Nikon 14X teleconverter. Try capturing the eclipse with some scenery in the foreground. Know that the filter will underexpose the foreground, so you will have to do multiple exposures. I would use a 70 to 200 f2.8 lens to give me a versatile zoom range. If you have a camera like a D5600 DSLR with a Nikkor 70 to 300 millimeter zoom and a solar filter, give it a try. You could also use a wide angle lens to shoot the path of the sun throughout the eclipse. Here's some other stuff you don't want to forget. You'll need a stable tripod, extra cards and freshly charged batteries. You might also want a cable release or use your camera's self timer function. And don't forget your solar filters. Good luck on August 21st and we hope you have fun capturing this rare event. For more information, check out Nikon's Learn and Explore page.